Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of viruses on your computer. Uh, you might have a virus if weird windows are popping up asking you for money, or if uh, your internet browser is being redirected to places that you didn't click on. Uh, those are usually really good signs of having a virus, so the first thing you want to do if you see anything like that happens is just shut down your computer and go into safe mode. This will allow you to fix the virus because in safe mode it won't be allowed to run. and uh, it's very simple to get in. Uh, just restart your computer and you're going to hit the F8 key as soon as it starts to turn on again. I'll show you. It's Just, just keep tapping it basically. Uh, see I'm hitting it right now and it gives me this window. So normally it just starts Windows normally but we want to put it into safe mode with networking so that we can fix the virus because in safe mode it won't be allowed to run and with networking means that we'll still be able to get on the internet and that'll allow us to download some virus tools. So then just hit enter there and it'll give you all this weird junk, you don't have to worry about it. And then you'll see that it'll boot into Windows in safe mode. It might look a little funky, it's all black. It's just because it's not loading stuff that... it's only loading the stuff that it needs so that it won't load the virus as well. So once we're here we're gonna want to download uh, a program called Malwarebytes. This program is awesome for getting rid of any viruses and malware. It's just a really good tool. Uh, you're going to want to go to www.filehippo.com. I download all my software here. It's just a great place to download free software. And the stuff I'll show you today is free. Uh, the program you're going to want to download is called Malwarebytes. M A L W A R E. B Y T E S. Okay, and it's just going to be this one that's a red M here. Just click on it and then scroll over here and click on download latest version. And then it should ask you if you want to download it, and if it doesn't, then just click here and then it will ask you. So then just download it, uh, hit save, and put it in a place where you remember where it is. And uh, once that's downloaded, you can just install it. I'll show you how to install it here. I've already downloaded it, so um, let me go and install it. It's a very quick installation. It takes a while to run, but it's very, very good at what it does. So uh, just double click on the installation. And this works the same in Windows 7 and in Windows XP, so it's great for both. So uh, just hit OK here, hit Next. Hit I accept. Hit next. Hit next again. Just leave all those as defaults and say create a desktop icon. And there we go. Now it's installed. It was very quick installation. Uh, you want to make sure that you leave that update malware bytes and malware checked so that it will update right now because uh, you want to make sure that you have the newest version. Even if you just downloaded it, there can still be newer versions out there. I know that mine is the newest version, so I can just uncheck that and uh, just leave it as launch it, but I'll launch the application right now. So after it's done updating, then it'll bring you to this window that it's going to pop up here in a second. Uh, so um, it's going to ask you if you want this Malwarebytes anti-malware trial. You don't need to buy their product, but it is a very good product, so if you do want to buy it, then it's always good. It's good to support a company that has a good product, but for now we'll just decline it and use their regular scan. Uh, and what we're going to want to do is just click perform full scan and then just hit scan. And uh, just click on any hard drives you see here, anything with that picture, click on for it to scan. If it has this picture, then you don't need to because it's just a DVD or something that wouldn't have a virus on it. And then you just hit scan. Uh, this Depending on how much stuff you have on your computer, it could take anywhere from 10 minutes to over an hour. And every time it finds something, it's going to show up as a red number here. I've seen it up in the thousands before. It's not going to find anything on here because it's a new installation, but I've found some that have a lot. So what you're going to want to do is, when this finishes, it'll bring up a window with all the viruses that it found, or all the malwares that it found, in a list at the bottom, and there should be check marks next to all of them. And uh, there's just an option at the bottom that says Remove Selected. So you just hit that Remove Selected button, 
and it'll take away all the viruses that were checked. And then it's probably going to ask you if you want to reboot. You're going to want to hit. You're going to hit yes. But when you reboot, hit F8 again and go into safe mode again. And when you get there, run this application again because it won't get everything the first time. You want to keep running it. I've had to run it two or three times before to get everything. But uh, yeah, you were going to want to keep running it until it doesn't find anything anymore. Next, uh, after that's done, you're going to want to check your antivirus. If you have an antivirus that you know you have, like Norton or McAfee or something, that's okay. But if you don't know if you have one or not, then you definitely want to double check. Uh, the best way to check is hit Start, Control Panel, and uh, Add or Remove Programs. And here it will tell you all the applications that you have installed. So if you have something here like Norton or something like McAfee, just double check that it's running and up to date. If you don't have one, then there's a really good free one that I use, or even if you have Norton or something that's about to expire, anything like that, there's a great free one that I use. Uh, you can just go to File Hippo again, and I'll show you which one it is. The one up here called Avast, that's the one I always use, I really like it. It's completely free, uh, it has the option of buying a better version, but the free version should be perfectly fine for everybody, and that's what I'd completely recommend if you don't have a virus protection. So after you run your malware bytes, you're going to want to run the scan from your uh, antivirus. And Avast has a really good one built in, so if you don't have one, just download it, and then you can run the scan that it has very easily. Uh, this shouldn't be a very big download. That's a pretty big download, so I won't show you how to run this one, but it's it's very simple once it downloads. Uh, and it'll give you a 15-day trial, and you just hit register, and you give it your name and email, and it'll let you uh, register for an entire year. So uh, that's a great one that I recommend, and that should get rid of all, almost all your viruses. If you if this doesn't get rid of your virus, then it is going to be a problem that you're going to have to take to a computer shop or something like that, because those ones are, can be very nasty, and it will be likely that they will have to delete everything off your computer and reinstall Windows. So, can be scary, but this should get rid of almost everything, uh, and in most cases, it works perfectly and gets rid of everything. So, try it out and see if it works.